Uh, okay. Um, so we're fighting against uh, XD, I guess. We are uh, rank like two something, three thirty nine. Um, I don't. I think uh, like half this guild isn't even active, which is kind of funny how far down we fell. Um, yeah, it was kind of weird because we were like <laughs> top fifty before, and now we're just kind of meandering around these uh, jobber numbers. <sighs> um, not to mention, yeah, I mean it's just like a. This seems like a very low effort. Like I'm attacking pretty late this time as usual, and uh, we still have like fifteen, so it's like five people who haven't attacked yet. So. Uh, you know, I can just not um, attack today and, and be be good with it. But uh, those of you who saw today, the rotation for um, for the mythics um, came up, and it's like, yeah, like I said, it's late. I could do the summons now and film it and then release it. Uh, but I'd rather do it tomorrow. Uh, fortunately for me, Athletica is here and. Athletica is a very good unit, one of the better units in RTA. However, she is good proportional to your gear. Um, she will only help you, and as far as your gear is good enough, right? Because she has she relies very much on speed. So, so uh, if you don't have very good speed gear, like if you can't make her like three hundred speed, then there's really no reason to pull for her. Like you're just gonna, she's just gonna sit there until you get good speed. Uh, that's and that's like. You need good speed on like you know every other stuff, a bunch of other stats to make her useful, right? She's not like an oxlots where it's like he's just gonna push someone up, right? And then there you go, then that unit takes over. So all you literally need on that guy is speed. Her like she actually you want her to be doing things on the match, so she needs like speed, effectiveness, and you know maybe some damage or some tankiness or something. Um, so it, it's interesting to keep in mind that uh, you know. She's a very high investment unit. She's she's very strong, but like I said, high high investment. You're gonna need a lot of speed gear to get her to a, a position of usefulness. Uh, so that kind of alleviates some uh, what's the word like pressure on me to summon. So for basically three weeks now, during her rotation, I, I can be you know calm and, and not worry about having to summon anymore. But we'll see how the how the crowd summons go, and hopefully I'll have a bunch. A bunch of mystic medals for when uh, ML Secret comes out because presumably that's what's coming after. Uh, additionally, apparently we're not getting a new. We have this ML4 here, and this is the new ML4. Well, relatively new, right? It's, this has been out for a while, but it's new to the rotation. It actually looks pretty good. Like one of the better, um, one of the better artifacts. Like, yeah, it looks pretty good. But anyway, oh uh, yeah, so. The fact that you get Kron here obviously is also very good. I mean, I might summon on this if I ha like I said if I have any uh, left over, I might pull until I get him. Uh, if not, then whatever. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, I'm gonna get a bunch of Kisei copies, which is gonna be kind of uh, irritating to say the least. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. I get kind of uh, detracted when I'm sleepy, uh, and I actually have to go do. This is such a long night. I actually have to go do uh, uh, some Hell Raid stuff. Um, where am I here? Some Hell Raid stuff because I've been lazy. Um, so let's get in here and let's kind of take a look at what we're looking at here. Uh, these are fine. Let's go see if anybody's attacking the main fort. Uh, well, I guess we'll hit him. Him down here. And uh, I don't think we're supposed to hit him because... This Athletica is way too fast, and I think down here it looks like uh, I might just bring ML Zerato and like something out, like two other people, just to whatever. Um, but let's let's uh, save that till later. Let's hit this guy first. Hmm, very interesting. General Pergus or regular Pergus. What to drop here? Now he he's gonna AOE counterattack, which is basically just gonna feed her because he's not gonna do enough damage to actually like kill her or anything. Um, 
But the thing is, will I do enough damage to kill him? Because they're going to have not only is he grass to her, and she's going to be my main DPS. Um, but let's see. What if I do this? That looks like fun. Constant CR boosting. This looks really irritating. Hopefully he can survive. I think he will. He, there's no reason he shouldn't. Uh, but actually, I might need him down here. Ugh, this bottom team looks like utter cancer. Um, <sighs> this looks like the kind of team I'd bring something like this into. Um, and then where's a uh, waterman? You bring you down here. Um, so I could either do this. Or I could bring Oxlots and, and um, Lilibet. I really need a full cleanse though, and my full cleanse is up here. Do I really want this full cleanse though? Because, yeah, I don't think it's that big a deal, right? Because she's just going to put fire on us, and it's not like it's that, um, it's going to be that bad. Uh, you know, of course, as always. As I always say, um, that's what uh, famous last words look like. Uh, but then, I, well, there you go. That's another thing. I can't leave him here because he's not going to survive uh, uh, getting shot by him. So we're going to put you down here and put you like that. And then I need the healer. I need you back here. She has been able to survive uh, getting one shot by him. Funnily enough. Um, yeah. <sighs> what to do, what to do. This top team looks kind of weird. Well, actually, does he have any debuffs? I don't think he does. But I think... I was like, oh, maybe I can try this, right? But I think the problem is that like he'll keep counterattacking her S1s. And I think I'll kill her before I get to kill any of these two. And then it's just going to be like kind of annoying. But I'm going to try it out anyway. Hmm. I don't think this guy is going to have... I mean, I'm kind of stressing it. Like, here's my thing. It's like if you put G-Perg on your defense, it's probably because you geared him like enough to be a threat <laughs> so that's what concerns me uh, mainly or if you just put regular Pergus I mean I keep, thinking, I keep saying G Perg yeah I guess we'll just go with this we'll see what out we'll see what happens again this is relatively and then not, not only that but this is a very low guild so we'll, maybe I'm stressing out over gear for no reason It was at 13k HP. That's kind of what mine is at. Her speed is kind of high though. Mine is uh, like 220 speed. Not even 220. She's 207. And I haven't boosted her boot yet. So she's like, she should be 212. Let's get everybody the boost. Just hit you, see if we can trigger a um, counter attack from you. Nope. I actually want to see what kind of damage this uh, regular Pergus is, is putting out here. Should have bait him as much as possible. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's alright. It's not like, again, like, here's the problem is that every time he counter attacks, he's basically feeding me more. Um, more SSB stacks. Uh, and then every time she just hits period, she's giving me more stacks. And she only hits for like 1200 apiece. Then this happens for another like little bit. Yeah, so I think I'll just like S3 that G-Perg with my... Uh, with him when the time comes. Hit you. Let's hit you. Let's see if we can get you to counterattack. There we go. Perfect, and then I get the counter. Cool. 
Yeah, so yeah, this is going about as well as I thought it would. Um, of course, uh, SSB is carrying uh, as, as much as usual. Let's get you. Let's get. Uh, not only that, this is helping. This is actually helping get uh, crowd lower. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, so I get this plus crowd's S3. So she's dead, and I think he should be dead after this too. Oh man, water's good. Uh, so there's that. Okay, so her thing is off too, so now we can just kind of wail on her. If this ever, if this, I, I doubt it'll get to that point where I need it to. Like if I have to, right, I can just ignore effect resistance on her S3 and then um, she won't be able to buff anymore. This is the the one thing I've kind of been reducing my usage of DJ Basar on to nowadays is like the inability to control his healing. Like if I if I want if I want to decide not to heal right now, I can't. Like I'm physically unable to can. <laughs> like yeah, I'm physically unable to decide like do I want to heal right I, like okay, well right now I can, right? Cuz I can just use this. Right? Which I think I am. Um, I can use this, right? But it's annoying that you can't like decide. Oh, I'm going to not heal right here, which is why I'm beginning to like. Um, what's her name? Uh, pff, the girl. Okay, so I didn't crit. Obviously, that's fine. It's one of the reasons I don't like, um, which I I'm starting to like, uh, Montmorency a lot more is like. Her S1 doesn't heal, her S2 is up constantly, and uh, her S3 is the big, the big, you know, that's her big heal. Um, so she's not healing off of this, which is good, but the, she still gets a CR boost, so that's kind of annoying. This is kind of what was annoying me, what annoys me, right? It's like now my crow is out of uh, S3 range. That heal is absurd. I might just leave and then come back. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on. Oh, no. She's going to S1. Oh, yeah. Come on. Nice. Okay, there we go. We got lucky with the counter with the dual attacks there for some reason. I don't know what that's about. There we go. Okay. So that went better than I would have thought. Um, so this next one uh, is pretty sketch. We'll see how this goes. Okay. See what kind of damage this Riolu is putting out here. That's, that's actually a pretty uh, some pretty decent damage there. Let's get this defense buff up. I missed on the Riolu there, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. I need these on her more. Or this, the, the immunity I needed on her more, and then he gets the heal anyway. So this is like, this is why I'm liking Montmorency so much, is like, her heals and everything about her, like, you're in full control. Like, obviously there's some parts you don't control, like, um, you know, the, the, the flip-flop nature, the coin flip nature of her, uh, there we go, nice. The coin flip nature of her uh, S2 coming up or not. But it's usually up when you need it anyway, so it's not so so it's not so bad. Nice, nice. Please die. Okay, cool. Uh, so basically, uh, she is the biggest threat. I really need to make sure that I had the ooh, that's bad. Okay. Okay, so I need I need to make sure my healing is up. Okay. Oh, this is bad either way. I'm, I'm kind of screwed here. Let's hope he hits someone I can afford to. Oh, there we go. Nice. Wow, he just died in one shot. Uh, the power of <laughs> Valencia is once again showing through. Uh, not the crit, right? Mind you, that that crit was like that was just luck. That had nothing to do with Valencia. My main point being that, like. It's often said, right, that 
Let's see, let's put this up. What's the word? It's like... Success is uh, like 50-50 luck as well as preparation, right? Not Well, not necessarily preparation. Like, when you succeed at something, it's 50-50 like getting lucky that certain things went the way you wanted them to as well as being able to capitalize on when that luck hits you, right? So in that case, I got lucky that I hit him. But the fact that I had properly invested into my... Um, into my Alencia meant that now that the luck went in my way, the planning and strategy took over where I invested properly into Alencia so that I just was able to one-shot him uh, with the S1. <laughs> um, I don't mean to make it as sound as like complex or like as as deep as I as I as I I guess like try to explain it, try to try to pass it off as. Um, but to some degree, it's like you know, it's one of those things where it's like keep in mind. Uh, Keep that. Keep something. Keep something like that in mind. Um, like I said, like I'm not trying to pretend like, oh yes, that was you know, galaxy brain. I had like, I'm four dimensions of of whatever ahead of you. No, nothing like that. I just mean, you know, whenever something goes right, it's a combination of of. Um, let's see, what should I do here? Whenever whenever something goes right, it's a combination of. Uh, let's see what she strips. Uh, what to do? What to do? What to do? Well, I need him up here, so you're you're staying up here. Whenever something like that, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Whenever something like that happens, it's a combination of like luck and preparedness, right? So I had prepared my Lencia, and I mean that's basically I don't know why I keep going further. But yeah, I don't mean I don't mean to make it sound like this big thing. It's just that like, fortunately, Lencia is uh, is Lencia, and she does like damage like it's nobody's business. Um. So what I'm taking down here is just going to straight up be the uh, what's his name, you right. So this is basically my strategy: is soak damage with him. Hopefully she can resist some of the stuns coming out, and then all three of these are gonna focus him. He's gonna do some decent damage. She is going to uh, not do that much damage, and I'm gonna throw back the stuns on her, and then she's gonna reset my cooldown, which is fine to a pretty large degree. Um, this is kind of the problem with having healers, with my healers in particular, is I don't have any, like, a lot of them have immunity. Um, so, it's like, it's hard to, like, pick one to put here. Up here... I need him to bait them, but I need to also, where is you? Here we are. Um, this looks like, uh, this looks supremely sketch, but um, I really do need a better healer. Uh, what was the other? There was another healer I was working on that I was like, oh yeah, that's it's my next healer project. Oh, it was her, but she's not useful here. So uh, she's already built. Uh, I just need to get the last awakening, but she takes the same materials that ML Crow does, and I don't have enough for Crow. So uh, guess who's getting those? Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to go with this up here. Hopefully, uh. Yeah, no, that doesn't sound good. That's not. This is actually gonna be kind of stupid if I just take Alencia again, which I think I'm. I'm thinking of just doing that. Where's Alencia? What other healer? I have no other healers that are uh, good for the situation. I really need another healer. Like just yeah, just like one more, maybe like uh Hmm. I'll have to think about it. But yeah, like I have two water healers like two light healers and that's not Oh probably Destina. I've been thinking about making a Destina and she's probably gonna be what I'm gonna go with. Who can I have up here? 
Yeah, I guess that's it. Just her. We'll see how that goes. I don't have high hopes for that, but like I said, this is uh, this is the time to experiment, right? Like, we're finding a low-level guild. We're already won. You know, there's no real reason not to. Okay, so this is... Let's get this up. Uh, the S3 on the Alencia, I'm still going to use it, even though I have the blind, because... Uh, we could use the strip here. Um, for one, even though you know we have blind, so we might miss. We're probably gonna miss the strip. Oh, we got the strip on her. Um, but for two, let's see what this does. For two, um, the defense buff is also very useful. So that's something to consider. Uh, and I love. I, I have. I'm. I'm like just loving General Pergus. Um, for one, he's good at baiting Riolus, so that's you know. Perfect. Uh, for two, uh, he just gives you so many free turns, especially like fighting um, MLCCs is so fun because like not only is she going to be focusing him, um, she's also going to put up her skill nullifier and then g -Perg can just like wipe it off with his S3. So it's like, <laughs> there you go. What more could you want? Oh, and I missed. Let's see how much damage I do. Okay, I didn't get the crit, unfortunately. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. And she got the mind's eye, so that's cool. Let's see what I do with this. Not much. Okay, so that crit hurt. Um. Let's hit you. I don't think I'm ready to revive that uh, RB yet. Wow, this is a lot of damage. This is. That is unfunny damage. What was that? Yeah, I don't know what, what's going on there. Uh, fortunately, I can do this though. Um, but there you go. That, that's what. That's some, that's another thing I wanted to point out to a lot of people when they're building their Alencias. Don't be afraid to have attack on her. Now, some people like will have like an eighteen hundred attack Alencia and then like. Um, let's see. Uh, have like an I mean an eighteen thousand HP Alencia, and then like oh you know I've got like a twenty five k attack or two thousand attack. It's like don't focus it to that degree, right? It's like it's good, but it's not. You don't want to boost it that much, right? Um, yeah, it, like attack on her is good. She will benefit from it, but like in a very flat sense, like literally, like in a in a you know factually, she, yes, she will benefit from it. Do you want a lot of it? No, not really. Um, but her having an attack buff is uh, its not something to joke about. Okay, didn't work very well. Oh, come on, don't die. Okay, so the first hit usually does like a third of the damage it's going to do. And it didn't break the shield, so yeah, he didn't get the crit, which is what I was hoping for. So that's cool. Let's see if I kill this guy. Oh no, I don't. Cool. Perfect. Now we get to go again. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Now we're talking. Now he's just going to die regardless. Oh, and I actually got the second crit. So we're basically safe at this point, theoretically. Well, I think Alencia might die from this. Come on. Oh, he has the MLDB, so he's not going to get the Alexas, um, which is the only thing I was concerned about. Let's see if... Uh, Alencia survives. Yes, she did. And that was about the only um, risk I had there. Because uh, now we get to... Uh, do I think that... Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Okay, cool. Now we get the uh, defense buff up too. Um, so that's kind of one of the things with uh, Riolu is like... You need to be able to just survive his S3 when it's going to randomly hit someone and then just hit him like just keep hitting him <laughs> that's how i mean you saw this happen just keep hitting him and eventually one of them gets through and the one that gets through is, is literally just going to kill him because he's not that you know he's not that tanky without the dodge um so yeah i mean it's not that simple right you know you can just hit him and hit him and hit him and never get him and then just die because you hit him over and over again but a lot of times it's like you just need to survive his initial s3 
uh, and then you'll build up a few stacks on his uh, S2 passive, and you got to survive that S3, and then you're basically solid after that. Okay. So and then he's going to hit him, but since... Oh, what the... Oh, that's right. I forgot that the uh, he will target a person who is stunned. Okay. So I lost my uh, my crow there for no real reason. Okay, yep, burn. Very nice. Okay. Ugh. And he's going to hit the uh, her. So this is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen uh, myself do. Um, come on, please get the burn. Thank you. They're actually doing quite a bit of damage. Um, and I'm not getting enough debuffs. And then he's going to S3 again. So I'm dead. Uh, let's just save him. <laughs> Uh, that was like the dumbest thing I've ever seen myself do other than I think you guys were here during that one time I, he actually extincted my um uh whoever that was my uh my arbiter <laughs> um but yeah so there you go um I'm actually kind of thinking there's not a whole lot I could have done to this team I mean I'd have to outspeed them and I don't have that kind of gear um yeah like everybody would have been stunned there uh, the only reason Zerato wasn't stunned is obviously because he's immune to stuns um, so there's really nothing I could have done about that. Um, I just should have avoided that fight. But like I said, we're uh, we're doing pretty well. And I think, let's see, 78 to 23. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, let's actually go look at our defense here. I forgot to check this at the beginning. Um, so this is from last time. I wanted to come check to see if there was any other attacks later on, but I guess there wasn't, so... No, no, these are from last time, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, two days ago and two days ago. Okay. So we got attacked twice, and we lost here, and then our second defense one, which is pretty cool. This is kind of the one I was thinking, like, oh, maybe it might win sometimes. Um, But there, hopefully, you guys can see the power of uh, of her. Like, she, she, she gives your entire team a free turn, basically, as well as letting you just reset someone's cooldown for something. Um, what lost me there was Spez, I guess, mainly. Like, if Spez wasn't there, this would have gotten a lot better. Because uh, Spez couldn't penetrate defense 100%, so he just one-shot my... Um, what's his name? <laughs> my uh, my Crow. Um, I think what might have worked here would have been something like... Uh, Maybe if I had G-Perg here, he could have helped boosted us forward or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Let's uh, let's go back here. Uh, let's just hit uh, you, I guess. down here I don't like it what's going on over here ooh t Siren. okay so what we're doing up here is I'm going to ox slots my Euphine I'm gonna bring you to where is ox slots there you are so we're going to boost Euphine, and basically we'll take turns boosting her and then boosting her, and then hopefully that'll give us uh, an edge there. That'll give us a word edge-wise. Um, that looks like a bad idea, honestly, now that I'm looking at it. Um, we don't have no survivability, so I'm basically going to boost her, one-shot her, or her. Yeah, her. Uh, he's going to S3, do some decent damage to her. He's just going to kill him on the one-shot. And then she's going to take a turn and do something stupid. And then, you know, basically there's not a whole lot. Uh, but that's ah, fine. Let's just uh, let's just take that into that. Take you and we'll take uh, we'll take you, I guess. Why not? Um, again, at this point, I'm just kind of having fun. Just like we'll just take random shit in here and see what happens. 
I actually want to take uh, you instead, but I can't because of that. Let's see what happens here. I I don't use um. This is why I like people running uh, immunities on their SSB so much, just because I get to do this for infinite damage. Look at all this damage. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Ugh, that was so disgusting. Uh, 200 speed, uh, Tenebria. Back at it again. See if she gets the stun, and she did, so perfect. Uh, of course, yeah, he's gonna go after her. Um, let's get this up so I can see. Hopefully, we can silence the uh, crown. Okay, we didn't, but we silenced him, which is also pretty good. Let's see if we don't kill him. Uh, let's see if we don't get him. Yeah, he's below, so he's going to S3 ox slots, which is fine. Okay, so he's still, uh, whatever. Let's see if we can just kill him. Oh, come on, die. You know you want to. Not not crow, I meant... Oh my gosh, he didn't die, dude. Oh, there we go. Well, now he's dead. Uh, and then now you're dead. There we go, cool. Oh my gosh, please. Ugh, I don't do any damage against him. Where's my Euphine at right now? I'm really thinking about building like a speedy, um, tanky Euphine. I need to test out some numbers. Um, should try to find out like what, like I, I use her for SSBs whenever I can, and I need to find out what's like a good sweet spot to have her at, so that when I take her into an SSB fight, and I really should have brought G Perg into this. Now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, um, there we go. Cool. So this is this is what I like. I, I'm so happy about my speed tuning here that I got her like just above my my uh, Arbiter Villager, so I can do this. Clear the clear the. FCC, uh, what's it called? Skill Nully, put ours up, and then I get to S3 with the Arbiter, which is like, ah, perfect. Um, but anyway, I forgot what I was on about. Oh, I need to see, like, what's a good sweet spot for, um, oh, this is, this is great. What's a good sweet spot for a Euphine and her damage, so I can kind of, like, because right now it's overkill damage a lot of the time. So, might, so maybe I can take off some of her, like, more offensive stats. Give her some more like bulk and a little bit more speed and have her just be like this. Uh, oh, I didn't transfer. That's very interesting. Let's just hit him hit her with that. There we go. Uh, please bleed. Nope. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, what the hell? How did I? That's great. That's just fantastic is what that is. Fortunately, no one's attacking. <laughs> Arbiter, so he just gets the free fire back here for some reason. Uh, please bleed. Oh my gosh, dude. Taunt me. Thank you. Does he not have a Japanese voice actor? That's weird. Yeah, okay, so they're in Japanese. I don't know why he's not. Let's just hit you. So basically, Arbiter's doing his job, which is to kill uh, a Momo. Um, he's doing very excellent at it, too. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I could not have... Like, every so often I forget... Like, I don't forget that she's there. I just forget that, like, I could bring her into stuff and, like, have her be excessively useful. I don't know why. Uh, but I really do need to boost up my Ox slots. Maybe, like... I, I was playing some Arena today... And I, I brought Oxlots with uh, Vildred, and Vildred, like, S3'd four times in a row or something like that because I was fighting against um, a Rowana, and, like, I killed somebody. I boosted uh, I boosted Arbiter up. I killed somebody. His turn came later. Um, I killed someone else, but, like, this time the... Uh, oh, I think I killed their Arbiter first. Then his Arbiter did nothing on the counter. And then... Rowana put up her revive buff, and then I killed Arbiter again with the S3. So I got to S3 like four or five times in a row without ever using a single S1, and it was just, um, <laughs> it was just amazing. Like the first two as well, like 
like about half of the S3s I did were greater attack buff ones because for one, I boosted them up so you got the two turn attack buff. The Lexus procs on the first one, so that's two S3s with greater attack. Uh, the second one missed, but then the last two uh, I did, uh, which I don't know. It was just, to me, it was like the most amusing thing I've ever seen in my life. Like just five turns in a row of nothing but uh, Arbiter S3s. Uh, it was pretty. It was pretty hilarious. Um, but yeah, so that's today's Guild War. Uh, as always, uh, don't forget <laughs> what's in your box. Um, FCC, you know, yeah, like I said, yeah, so it's just good to like remember you have FCC. Uh, she's always going to be useful, always very powerful. Um, one of my favorite plus 15s. Um, yeah, I just wish I had more uh, copies to imprint her with. Uh, if anybody. Let's just, I guess we can look at some of my units. I don't know how early we are now. We're a bit late, so I'll just probably show off like the Zerato, I guess. I, I just imagine a lot of people were like me. I didn't know how to build my Zerato, and, and I'm actually quite fond of where he is now. Uh, I, I still need more Molas on this. He's, he's about to reach level, well, level 9 barely. I'm going to wait to give him more Molas until I get him to level uh, 10. Uh, da, 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 if you'll let me. Uh, once he's at level 10, I can give him uh, two here, and then I'll give him two more here. So I'll use these little things, and then one extra mola, because this is four and I get three. So I'll give him that, and uh, you know we'll do that, and then maybe one day I'll give him the last 10% here. Uh, this is, of course, maxed, and this one, uh, I should probably use two of these to give him the 10% the extra damage on this, but it's not, or the 10% 10, 10 chance to get the decreased attack and defense, but it's not that big a deal. No, oh, but yeah, so let's go take a look at the build. Uh, so this is his build. 2600, 2600 uh, attack. The attack isn't so important. Um, fortunately, mine's kind of decent at some pretty interesting pieces. Uh, defense is 1250, and then uh, HP is about 1600. I want to get it to 1600. We still have a little bit more to go. Like if I get to replace this helmet, which is the Abyss helmet, uh, that'd be pretty cool. I don't need the speed, of course. Um, this sword rolled pretty well. I'm hesitant to boost it because it's not like the best sword, but I'll probably just boost it anyway. Uh, you can always use more crit damage. I think this will give him 3% more crit damage, or crit chance, which puts him up to 75, which is a pretty good number considering he, for one, he AoE, he cleaves with his S1, and then he AoEs with the S3. Um... So yeah, not having 100% crit chance is, is usually better on AoE units because you don't feel it as much. Like you'll get at least one crit usually. Um, the Twilight Essence robe, I I love this piece. I boosted it uh, just today. Uh, this health should have been percentage, but I got kind of screwed over. So it is what it is. Of course, the speed shouldn't really be here, but I'm saving this. But this is a good piece for someone else, probably like a T Surin eventually. Uh, I'll, I'll put this on her when I get her. Uh, but on him, it's pretty good. It gives him a lot of crit damage, a lot of crit chance, uh, and some health. So that's why it's on him. Uh, my right side gear is pretty obvious, so it's uh, crit damage up here. This necklace this necklace is kind of bad, but I don't have a lot of, like, golem pieces that I needed to boost to 90. This is like the, like, I, I, yeah, I'm out of golem pieces. There's nothing else to, to boost. Every other golem-esque piece is, like, the 75 gear they gave us the, that I have on my Ruel or... Um, the, the the attack set gear that they give you randomly that just has good stats on it. Um, but yeah, so I, I had the materials lying around, so I was like, oh, I'll just boost this, I guess. And, you know, it's, it's all right. 31 effectiveness isn't too bad. Uh, the crit chance is, like, abysmally low. The fact that you see a 4 there means it started off with a 3, which is pretty bad. The speed, of course, you can see there is a 2, which shouldn't have been speed at all. It should have been, like, health or, de or, or health, I guess. Yeah, health would have been better. Uh, and then finally, the defense is, is eh, it rolled pretty well. So high defense, high effectiveness, not too bad. Um, and then this is an Abyss Sword. This rolled way too much speed, um, but I liked I liked every other I liked all the rest of the stats, the the attack, the defense, and the health, the flat health, and the and the, and the main health. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to replace this at some point though. Uh, and then the, then there's just this boot. I don't know if I'll boost this boot. Probably not, considering I should probably boost this first because it's got 22% attack, whereas this only has 20. Um, but yeah, like 5% more health isn't going to hurt and 2% uh, crit chance. I think 1%, maybe 1 or 2% crit chance. 
the attack, the health, the health, and then the, the defense is pretty good. So that's my Zerato. He's got this. Um, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. But I really feel like maybe I should just change this to something else. Um, this might be pretty good. Eh, his attack's too low, I guess. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to like think about what you're gonna run on him. I don't know. Personally, I, I do. A lot of people just do run this uh, the Ayellas, but it's like you don't bring him into situations that you need to strip, right? You bring him into places that they're gonna uh, debuff you a lot, and they're probably you know I don't know. I don't bring him into a lot of stuff that has debuffs that has a lot of uh, stuff I need to strip, as I'm beginning to notice now. So. Maybe I'll give him the Abyssal Crown and and give this to Dizzy. Because right now Dizzy has my Abyssal Crown. Which is somewhere. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, so she's got it right now. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about it. Like, Dizzy's really hurting for the... The uh, Ayelas. Because, like, for one, she has AoE stripping abilities. Which is better than what Zerato can do with, with only two attacks. Uh, and then like the one AOE, AOE S3. Um, as you can see here, this Dizzy is actually pretty abysmal. Um, she's missing way too much HP. Uh, but anyway, that's that's uh, uh, I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's hard. Like Zerato, the ideal uh, the ideal artifact for him has yet to be revealed to me. I like Dizzy a lot because you can either go with the with the Abyssal Crown or you can go with the Ayellas, and it's really down to preference. Um, I personally just really prefer the the Ayellas on her. I think what is interesting to think about is playing playing that against that team I played earlier that I lost to a uh, the Spez just destroying us. I do wonder if the Abyssal Crown would have helped there. I mean, it's not something to plan around. It's not something like oh, because I lost there, I need to build him like this. No, that's not. That's fallacious. That's fallacious, fallacious thinking. Um, you shouldn't. You shouldn't try that. Uh, I was just, you know, it's something that you think to yourself. It's like, if I had the abyssal on him, would I have been able to, like, when I countered the, the uh, what's her name, the girl, the Air, the silver blade Araminta, when I countered her, could I have stunned the her? Well, for one, stunned her as well as could I have stunned the Spez and then avoided. Um, some of what happened there um like i said it's something to consider but it's not something that i think is like that like oh i lost because of that it's like nah you lost for other reasons uh, but yeah i do i'm starting to think that maybe running abyssal crown on him might be a good thing um but yeah we'll, we'll see uh i don't know who else i use in that i mean my ssb i guess i, I use her in everything so if, if you guys want to see what that looks like um, don't mind this boot and all the life, all the abyss gear set here. Uh, my Rengar's is plus thirty. Um, so one fifty eight speed. I really want less speed. Oof. And she's got this. Um, effectiveness is kind of dumb on her. I'd rather have the HP percentage, especially to crowd because it just makes his horses bigger. Um, but yeah, so low crit damage. Uh, the crit chance is at 76, but it's not like you need very much crit chance. Um, I personally think that you just want to focus on getting uh, attack, defense, and health, making her tanky. Because for one, she's just constantly AoEing people. And the damage is getting through because of the, the Rengar's like, penetration. But also, people don't realize that like it's hard to keep up um immunity constantly because you're fight while you're fighting with people and as soon as like you get rid of whatever's giving people giving their team immunity then now it's really stressful because you have to worry about uh fighting against the defense breaks the unbuffables the unhealables the targets like she's got so much built into her kit that like i feel like you know crit chance crit damage you don't got to worry about it too much um I mean, you know, some of it is fine. That's why I like the Abyss gear so much. It's got a lot of health and attack. But unfortunately, the um, the speed is there, and it doesn't need to be there. Uh, that's just kind of my thoughts. Anyway, um, you know, that's about it. I guess you know, maybe I can show my Crow who got one shot by Espez, apparently, uh, with all his uh, wonder there. Um, 
I like this health, this amount of health on him. But uh, Crow, ML Crow is going to need a lot more than that uh, to actually do something. What's, is this the boot? Yep, look at that. 36% HP uh, with flat health. Like, no no lie, man. It's like this This boot is beyond good. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, that'll be it for, to, for today. Uh, I'm just kind of showing off and ranting here. <laughs>